This is a time of year when people are out getting some sun, but you need to know people are not the only one trying to catch some rays. No, because it is snake season here in Albuquerque. And I, Ryan Laughlin, spoke with a rattlesnake expert and, of course, shares with you what hikers should know before they hit the trails right now. Ryan. Yes, yeah, Stephen Tessa, snakes can be scary, especially the venomous ones, but they're not nearly as deadly as some may think. Regardless, it helps to know what you should do if and when you cross a rattler. On a day like today, it's nice to get a break from everyday life. Jay Key and Brenda Canejo are enjoying a hike in the foothills. The different types of flowers coming out, um, different animals coming out, as well as bugs. But they know as it starts to heat up. Um, right now we see squirrels right and everything right now, but as soon as it gets hot, we'll continue to hear or see rattlesnakes. They may start hearing rattlesnakes. Day like today, they'll come out of their dens. They'll hang out in the sun and then go back underground when the temperatures drop in the evening. Bob Myers is the director of the Rattlesnake Museum in Old Town. He says all rattlesnakes are venomous and there's four different species that hang around Albuquerque. Like this guy, the western diamondback rattlesnake. But they're not actually that deadly. Death rate from rattlesnake bites is almost non-existent anymore. The CDC estimates there's about seven to 8,000 venomous rattlesnake bites every year in the U.S., and of them, only around five die. And part of that reason could be better care. My old snake bite first aid kits included razor blades and tourniquets, so no more of the cutting and sucking, no more tourniquets around the arm or leg, no more ice baths. Uh, these are things that actually can make the bite Worse. Instead, get to the pros. EMTs or doctors have anti venom that Myers says works wonders. But chances are you won't need it. And if you do see one, give it a respectful distance, take some pictures, enjoy the wildlife uh, experience, and then walk away from it. This time of year, snakes are hanging by their dens. When it gets even hotter, they'll start to migrate a little more. And the last thing you need to keep in mind is to keep your dog on a leash. A curious pup can get bitten pretty easily. Steve.